Nancy, <clears throat> we're gonna start wetting this. Got a pencil everywhere right now. We'll just see how it goes. Hopefully, it doesn't waste too much of my pencil. Oh, I have a lot of brushes here actually. By the way, I do not own the copyright to any music you might hear in the background. Wow. My daughter really scribbled over everything. Thank you for the like, whoever is watching. <clears throat> so I can't really see how to figure out how to angle this better, but boop. I drew a sketch of a horse, a couple horses looking at each other. I actually took this picture. Oh, do you can see better? I actually took this picture and it is of my horse and this other girl's horse. And she donated a lot of money to helping with his vet bills one day. And I just want to give back to her. So this is my way of doing it. First, I'm going to try to lift this up. So you can see it better. And so it doesn't fall over. I think that helps a little. Alrighty. Her horse is kind of like a buckskin color. So. It's kind of the I'm gonna try to start with. So let's do that. There is paintbrush hairs everywhere. Oh, I see the wood now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to spread this a little. It is dripping everywhere. What am I doing? I don't really know. Might turn out to be a disaster today, but definitely will be a learning experience, that's for sure. Um,
And my, oh, I can't really see star. All right, I got some real cheap paint brushes right now. So let's see how they work. This is going to be super blue. It's okay. I'm just really trying to just cover the canvas right now. It's gonna be time consuming. But I'll be fine. Songs and trip everywhere. got a piece of tape on my canvas. Is there a way for me to see hello? Hmm. Right now I'm using a Black Essentials Gouache One Inch Bows Brush, brush, brush. it over the ear twice. All right, kind of getting somewhere. Like it's a little bright. Okay, not really sure. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, now I'm gonna try to get a gray color. Money out of paper. Oh, let's use this one. I got my really messy thing. I forget what it's called. So. I'm gonna try to make out what I did here. Looks like this is the bottom of his neck over here. This is my boy Deputy. This is his cheek. Right there. Under his head, face. Bottom of his muzzle. His lip, top lip, nostril would be, side of his face, under his eye, his eye, top of his eye, Let's see you can kind of make it out a little bit better now. Again, I'm just kind of trying to cover the canvas here. So it's going to look really messy at first. Hopefully, I'll recover from the messiness. And the top here is kind of where his hair is, top of his neckline. And you can see his hair all coming up in here. Use water, spread this over more of his face, fire and drip, his muzzle, covering all the details I had. At this point, let's just practice. This is the first painting I've done in a minute. Didn't realize. It's very stupid. It's okay. Here's the top of his ear. All the way down. So I'm trying to figure out what I sketched here because it looks like this is the wood, but then I have another line down here. And that's the top of the other one. I don't know. What I should do is pull up the picture again. That way I know what I'm doing is here. Yeah, it'd be nice if I had some more white. All my stuff is stuck together. Like, how does this happen? So I'm just gonna mix this white, this blue. I 
down and refresh. It's blue liner. I think I'm learning I need to do the background first and then sketch. It's looking pretty good, actually. Doesn't look great, and I'm actually still kind of happy with it. I do need to find this picture though because I kind of forget how it looks behind the horses, and that way I can end up showing you all. So. Hmm. 
Not duplicated it. I have to take so many pictures of my daughter. Kind of lost in the sauce there. Right, I'm gonna search it up. <sighs> Found it. So here it is. That's what it's supposed to look like. There's a lot of trees you didn't know about. So that'll be fun. Honestly, I don't really think we need much more blue. I'm just going to fill this in. See between her ears. There's a little bit of sky, but it's mostly a tree. Too bad, in my opinion. Welcome. This is me trying to paint for the first time in a long time. So this is what I got going on so far. Kind of just laid some watered down color. I just realized there's some a lot of tree action, so I don't really need to make the blue very solid, but. I think I got most of the blue up there, so it's looking pretty good. I'm trying to paint this picture of my horse and this other lady friend of mine's horse. She paid for a fat vet bill for me one day, so this is going to be my thank you gift. Hopefully it looks a lot better when it's done than now. So, this tonight's just going to be the first attempt of getting this thing going. But all this looks like it can be colored in. There's no gap there, just his hair. So, and then, but here there's a little gap. That's going to be a little challenging, but it'll be fine. So, I think I'm going to just try to use up this blue, even though I don't really need it. But it would feel better if I just pretend like I didn't waste it, so... I'm going to put that down. And 
fill up a little bit more of these pores under the canvas. Because it's kind of stubborn. So there's that. And with this brush, I think I'm just going to work a little bit more on this horse. These horses, at least. Get some gray. My horse is the one on this side. It's an Appaloosa. He's a little more blue gray. With some black spots. Those are details I'll do later. I'm going to try to kind of fill in this gap. I don't really know. His hair is kind of brownish, but I'm just going to still use the gray. Just kind of hide my flaws a little bit. Here's his cheeks. This is under his face, because it's the back of his head. His eyeballs there. Can't really tell right now. And we need thinner brushes to do more details later. Right now, just like he's a fat neck. This is gonna be the fence. Fence, little gap. I don't know, more bodies, fence, dirt, feet, whatever. So, yeah. Um, kind of scared to dig it in the water now because it kind of turned blue. But I might have to because this is quite bright and dark. I'm not spreading very much. Let me see now, it looks a little more covering with the color. It's a little more wet, so it's dripping. But honestly, I'm not stressing it. Um, there's a lot of pencil action. That's why it's kind of blurry gray here. Also, my daughter scribbled all over my canvas. Because she wanted to be a part of the art experience, so. Can't really be mad, she's only two. Color, color in more of the white areas. Nice blue strips. I'm going to put a little more color in the face. The face is going to be darker anyways. Because he's a uh, buckskin, so he has a lot of darks that accent his coloring, I guess. Around his eye. It's always kind of sad in the beginning coloring in the sketch because you know I color the sketch in and it looks so good and then um then I start painting and then I blur everything and then I'm wondering if I ruined it but normally I'm able to pretty much save it plus when things dry you paint over use different colors to highlight certain, you know, highlights and colors and stuff. It works out in the end. So, buying better paintbrushes in the future would probably help. We'll say that for when I am better. So kind of seeing the outline, which is pretty exciting. Just trying to figure out 
the edge of the horse here. Let me look at my little picture again. And then he kind of has a cheek that goes out, I guess, over here next to this boy's eye. Hmm, I think that kind of works. We'll call it abstract. So it looks like I colored actually a little bit too much. It's only supposed to be here. And then the leg actually goes down here. And there's wood again. So somehow I gotta fix that. But if anything, I'll just accent. Looks like his muscles here. His leg goes down here. His leg goes down here. If I'm aligning this right. Maybe it's a little more over in this side. Details for later. There. And then it goes this way. Then I'm going to ruler and make this straight. Make the fence look a little more official. But in the meantime, it's fine. Unless you're a professional artist and you tell me it's not fine, then it's not fine. Because I really don't know. Just kind of try to do a little bit of the wood areas. Because, um, you know, just kind of help me get things together. dark. And honestly, they didn't even need to use this brush. Just not painting all together.
I kind of feel like I'm doing the body painting, camouflaging. Mass, mass. You kiss. I'm okay. You are where you are away. But the truth is. Since we said goodbye. Wait, is this I'm going to put some of this water in here, just kind of mushy color. Well, look, hello, welcome. I'm trying to paint right now a picture of a couple horses that I've taken. But it's my first go around, so it's going to look pretty horrid right now. Honestly, I'm kind of impressed. So, I'm just kind of trying to cover the white for now. And then I'm going to go back once it dries and um, put in detail. It's a little darker than I want it, but I just want to, again, cover the white, put details later. That was a little darker than I wanted, but all good. I should go and buy a big old thing of white. But um, because there's a lot of dirt in the bottom of the picture. So if you look at the picture, there's a lot of sand. 
think that's how you fix this. Hello? Okay, it's not really working, but they're standing on sand. The sky has trees in the background. So there's a lot of detail that will have to be done later. For now, I'm gonna make this, try to make it a little bit more of a sandy color. But not too yellowy because the horse is pretty yellow. That one is. So, so that's that. Um, I need to thin it a little bit more. I keep forgetting to switch brushes because this brush sucks. All right, let's see how this goes. <gasps> wow, that's actually a beautiful color. I'm really happy with this color. Wow, didn't that kind of come out good? Oh, he can't really see it here. Oh, it's a good color. You trust me. So I'm just going to fill in the white gaps with this color. It's kind of like a sandy color, exactly what I was going for. It's actually prettier than what I was going for. Surprisingly, because I was mixing it with the poopy water. to say and that's a good thing about art is you don't know what you're gonna expect but at the same time probably should learn color mixing and everything because I'm pretty sure artists are supposed to know how to get colors and everything but it's all part of the learning experience so Sweet tooth and pine homemade wine. If you have any, um, thank you for the like. If you have any recommendations or anything for how I should do this, um, let me know. But honestly, this is not as terrible as I expected it would turn out. So I'm kind of happy. I really don't want to screw this up because, again, it is going to be a gift for this woman who was so kind. And I think she, she was being more kind to the horse than myself because... He started, my horse deputy, he started colicking and, which was my fault, I gave him treats that I did not know were kind of moldy because they got some condensation and I was like, oh, you're such a good boy and I gave him treats and then, of course, he didn't react very well with his body, so he was getting sick. Um, I was really tight at the time with finances. And, you know, she wanted him to be treated. So she didn't even ask to give me money. She just, um, via phone app, you know, sent it to me for his vet bill. And I actually thought she gave me a, too much money. But it actually ended up being just enough money to cover his vet bill. Because... It's expensive. So I'm forever grateful. I wish I could pay her back, but I have not able to yet. So I'm hoping once this is completed and definitely looking a lot better than it is, I'm going to mail it to her and hopefully she appreciates it. And then maybe I'll become famous one day, and then it'll be worth $500. More or less. Oh, back on 
kind of scared the heck out of me. So I'm just trying to color this bottom part. You know, I'm getting it all over my thingy the jiggy here. At this point, I'm just coloring over lines. And the outlines. Okay. Getting somewhere here. Definitely got gray in here. Oh. I'm just going to do an hour today. There's plenty of time to work on this. At least for the first time, you know? For the first round. That way it gives drawing time and whatnot for the next coat. That is not the color. I think I got some black here. I'll just do a smidge of the black. Oh yeah, even the tiny smidge. Maybe a little bit more. Just can't put too much. Yep, it's already a dark green. It'll be fine.
I hate when I mess up. But that fingered the heck out of it. Forward. A lot darker than I wanted, but it's always fixable. Thank you. All righty. I think we're good to go for the first section. It looks great, but um, no, it's really not as bad as I thought it would be. So, what's really impressive is when you see art starting off like this, and then somehow it ends up looking great in the end. So, thanks for who stopped by, and see you again next time. Bye.